You know, I knew many years ago that I wanted a family. I didn't know how I would get the family, but I always knew. I knew I wanted to travel and have a career and and do different things and experience different experiences, but I always knew in the back of my mind that that's what I want. I wanted. Um, you know, it was a little bit of a trying time. I wasn't with anybody at 36. I'd gotten dumped twice, and, you know, I was like, oh, I don't know. What's this whole freezing process? And I ended up doing it, and we, you know, I'd met my husband, but I was already in the process of doing it, and it was a very difficult thing to ask him to do it with me. I remember my girlfriends being like, you're going to lose him, you know, and I'm like, well, I'm going to lose him regardless then, you know, because I just remember being like, I would go on dates and I'm like, well, I, I really want a family. I really want to pick a lane. And, you know, you were either on the path and in my lane or you weren't. And I didn't have time at, you know, 37 to waste. But I do think, um, it's been an amazing journey and, all three kids natural. I probably, I got pregnant with my first baby on my honeymoon, but I always say to girls, I don't know that I would have because I think I, I felt like I had an insurance plan or a backup plan. I didn't know if it would work, but I'd done everything to try to make it work if it didn't. And I felt good about the decision. And now it's what everyone's talking about, their fertility and freezing or not freezing and, and now it's it's such a, a conversation because women are waiting later in life to have you know their career first or whatever whatever it is and I think it's important you know listen it's scary at 43 to be carrying your last child I'm not gonna lie like I'm still very nervous um but at the same time I I I've definitely crossed my T's and dotted my eyes. Molly, you're on the show. Over the next show. Molly, right here. Molly. Molly, you could just right here. Molly, where the hell? Wow, I don't know how single moms with no help, how they do it. I mean, I know it takes a village, but it's like I have so much more respect. And for the women who stay at home, because it is so much easier to go to work sometimes than it is to stay at home. And, you know, not having any children, I never really, I never really knew what that meant. You know, it's like we talk about mom guilt and how much guilt we have. I mean, I've had guilt since he came out of me from when he was born with a tooth and he was like a ba vampire and I had no milk. And then it's like the milk wars and then it's the vaccine wars and then it's the formula versus the, it, it just becomes like a constant you know, things. So it's definitely, I think, with my third baby, that's the one thing I can say. I'm not freaking out if the pacifier drops on the floor. I'm not helicoptering because A, I don't have time, and B, I realize it's probably the worst thing I could have done. That's something different. Who are you with? My husband. Okay. 